it's Beth from Sweetheart's Hair Design and welcome to another video. So today I'm with my new model Harriet and we're going to show you how to do the pull through halo braid. It's a really pretty style, I think you're going to love it. So don't forget if you like this video you can like and comment and also subscribe by clicking the bottom right hand side of your screen. Okay so to start this style as I've done is I've just pulled down a few little baby hairs from Harriet's face because I want the style to look quite soft. And I'll just show you the other side. Spin you around there, Harriet. That I've done the same there. Just a few little wispies. You don't have to do that bit. And I'm going to start the style on the side that's got most hair. So Harriet's parting is more over to the left. So this side has got more hair, and that's where I'm going to start the style. So as it's a pull through braid, I'm going to be using my little hair elastics. Um, these are like 500 in a bag, nice and fine and strong. And you can find these in my store, Sweetheart's Hair. So I'm just going to take a small section to start with. Just smooth it out. I don't want this style to look too neat and perfect. So try not to sort of like overcomb and make it look too nice and smooth. So a few turns of the elastic. And I'm going to put in all my elastics before I start braiding. So I'm just taking another slice of hair there. I haven't actually taken all the hair from my ear because I want the halo braid to just sort of sit around like that and it to be quite sort of soft curls over the ear there. So I'm just going to be bringing these little slices of hair all the way around until I get to the other side of the head. So I'm going to be starting the braid guys from the top here but before I do I'm just going to create a little bit of volume in Harriet's hair. Now if you're doing this on a little one you haven't got to do this bit but I want it to be a little bit more grown up so I'm just taking my fingers holding the elastic and just adding a little bit of movement and texture. Okay, so back to the top again, starting the braid, it's a pull through braid, so the top one gets divided into two, so split it down the middle like that, the next elastic along gets lifted up and pull through those two divided sections, I then want this sort of section out of my way, so I'm going to use my grip and it's got no teeth on so it's not going to catch on the hair, slide that in hold that piece of hair out my way and now these two sections are going to be added in to this third elastic so literally combine all three together get another elastic and just pop that on release that section of hair and you've created your first stitch so before I go any further I am just going to pull that bit out so you're going to repeat this process guys, okay? So it's think about it, it's the top pony, always gets divided into two. The second pony comes through that divide and you clip that out of your way. And then these two sections get added into the third pony, combine all three together and pop an elastic on again. Now repeat this process all the way till you get to the other side, exactly the same as what you've just done on the first two sections.
Okay, so now I've got round to the left ear, so I've worked my way all the way round and got to the left ear. You've got two ponytails left, so all I'm going to do now is take this top ponytail, pop an elastic in, and then create a little hole through that piece of hair there, and then pull this one through. If you find the hair is a little bit layered and bits are popping out, I don't mind that, I quite like the messy look, but if it is bothering you, curl the hair before you start because that way the curl of the hair will bend naturally into the braid and it will be much harder to see the bits popping out. So on this last section here, I'm just going to divide it into two, okay, and then just place it round the back of this section, put an elastic in, almost making like a sort of pretend last piece there, and then you'll be able to see now as I pull the sides, you've sort of created that last section for yourself. So I've finished all my braid now, I've gone as far down as I can, pulling on the edges, you can make these bigger if you want to. And now I'm just going to turn Harriet around and I'm going to place this over the top like that. I'm now just going to use some grips, some bobby pins and just pin this hair down right where we started where the other one was. I'm just going to sort of like mesh it all together like that and start to pin. Now I'm happy with my braid, I'm taking that little grip out that we sort of section this piece of hair at the front. I've got some straighteners and now I'm going to just curl these sections of hair going away from the face, okay? So to do that I'm just going to angle these down, gently clamp down and just bend that hair away from the face. I don't want a real spiral curl, I just want a soft gentle curl, always going away from the face. Now I've just put a really, really rough curl through Harriet's hair. So my top tip when you are short on time is, grab big sections of hair, do a really rough curl, but then what you're left with is quite a straight bit there and then a curl at the end. So what I do is just take a really small section, just random sections, and recurl those very, very small sections in a tighter curl. And then they just sit on top of that straight bit there and just break up the eye so it isn't just the straight bit of hair that you can see. So that is the style finished, I'm going to do a little spin for you so you can see all the way from the front all the way around. So it looks really really cute, I love the fact that it's a bit messy and that the curls aren't all perfect. Come back round Harriet. <laughs> there we go, so thank you so much for watching and don't forget you can find us on Instagram at Sweetheart's Hair Design.